What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here outside of Goodwill. We're going to head inside, see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Hopefully, we find some goodies today. Let's go. Last time I was here, I found some pretty decent stuff. So I think today I should find some pretty decent stuff. Is that how it works? You just put it out there and you find stuff. I think. I don't know. Let's see. Um, I like these cards. These ones don't shake as much when you push them or squeak as much. Last time I was here, yellow was 50% off, and this time it's still 50% off. I think it changes every Sunday. So, let's see if we find anything in these bins right here. Found two pieces of media. We got a DVD and a CD. $2, $1. Not bad. This is interesting. Haven't found a Wilton cake pan in a long time. It's kind of loaded with stuff. I'm going to remove all this. And, uh, Actually, I don't even have to. You look it up by that number right there, 2105 2015. I'll type that in on Amazon and see. So it looks like it's a bunny, and it is a bunny. You can see the bunny right there, but the rank is really high. 888,000 kitchen, which means it's gonna take a long time to sell. Uh, selling for 30 bucks though, but I don't think it'll actually sell for that. You'd make 21 after fees. They're asking only a dollar on it. It might be worth it to grab it for a buck and just list it for like $15, but I think I'm gonna leave it for the next person because I don't <laughs> I don't really wanna deal with removing all this stuff and uh, it might not actually sell that well. But let's keep looking. We might find something cool. Whenever I see these old skis, I always think that they're just so cool and that they should be worth something just for decorations alone. Like, look at how 90s. This might even be more 80s. Look at the colors on this thing. It would look so cool. There's a pair of them. They would look really cool hung up on a wall somewhere. I don't know. But $10, uh, you can see right there, $10. Just not going to be worth it. I've yet to find any skis that are worth it. I have found a snowboard that's worth it in the past, though. I just noticed this. I looked down from the skis and look at this thing. We got a little book for $10 of a whole bunch of little records. Chattanooga, Chattanooga Choo Choo. I actually shipped my FBA shipments to Chattanooga or I used to in Tennessee. Um, it's kind of interesting. Sandstorm, Johnny and the Hurricanes. These are actually kind of cool. Dwayne Eddy. I doubt any of these are valuable, but if they are, let me know in the comments, because I honestly have no idea. I could sit here and look them all up, but I think they're probably pretty slow sellers. What is that? The Bumble Boogie. Kind of cool. For 10 bucks, I'm still going to leave it. I actually bought this exact cube thing from a Goodwill before, and it's what my TV is on in my living room. That's kind of funny. And they want $20 for it. Um, that's actually not that bad. I mean, there's stickers all over it and stuff. 20 bucks isn't that bad. It's a little scuffed up, but I'm sure that part used to be on the floor. I keep mine sideways like this, but 20 bucks. If I needed it, I'd grab it. I don't even have room in the car for it. All right, guys, this is interesting right here. A bunch of these Murder, She Wrote books, a dollar a piece on them. Now, it's a shame there's writing on the top, but I don't think it'd affect the value that much. Take a look on eBay here. Here's a lot of six that sold for 17 plus shipping. A lot of 12 for 27, a lot of 41 for almost 100. Um, a four book lot for 11, but that's free shipping. 20 for 35, I don't know. I mean, it looks like, how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 of them. You could do like two lots of seven or one of seven, one of eight, and then charge, I don't know, about 20, $25, maybe 20 bucks for them. So $40 and I don't know. That's interesting. I'll think about that. Now this is cool. It's not worth anything, but it's Dune, book number three, House Corino. I just saw the new Dune in theaters and it was awesome. Um, if I read more, maybe I'd grab it. It's only $2, but I do not read that much. This is kind of cool. The Hitchhiker's Trilogy. Uh, you know, I, I always sit and scan books for a little bit, and I never really find much. Oh, here are the other dunes right here. Probably books one and two. At House Atreides, House Harkonnen, and House... Oh, wow. At $6, maybe this would be worth it since the movie just came out. 
you know, we're gonna do a little more research and see if this is worth it. All right, so take a look at this. I see it right here, $50. It says first edition. I gotta see if these are first editions. There's another three for 31. Oh, that's not even first editions, there we go. I'd be paying $6, so I think it's worth it. There's another three for 300, those are the older ones. There's the, no, those are slightly different. But it seems like, well, those are the three I have right there, about 30. Not bad, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna snag them. I like that, that's definitely a good score. Throw these in the cart. I decided to come take a look at the mugs. I never do, but take a look at this for one dollar. Look at that Transformers mug. Zach Designs, one dollar. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. This thing is pretty cool. I'm gonna look it up. I doubt it's worth anything, but you never know. Uh, it's it's possible it could be. So let's see. So one has sold for $9.99 plus shipping, but there's 16 listed at the moment with brand new ones around $10. So I, I'm not gonna spend a dollar on a used one, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, it's obviously a newer print, so it's just not worth much. This is interesting for $1. What is that? Take a look at that mug. That is kind of weird. It's so weird that it might be worse on it. It's really heavy. I'm gonna look that up. So I'll do this live with you guys because I don't really know what to type in to find it on eBay. I'm gonna use the Google Lens app and search with my camera and see if it pulls up what this is. So we will take a picture of it and there it is. Well, similar, just, I guess there's not really a name but this is very similar. Let's open it up. Visit on eBay. There's somebody selling a set of two. It's from the same set for sure for $28 plus 10 shipping But uh, I have no way to check the solds. It, it's kind of cool for a dollar, but I'll probably leave it because there's no markings on it. I mean I'm Sure, there's money in it. Just not for me. I don't really like to ship mugs at all I mean, they're not too hard to ship, but I don't really want to I have always loved these metal banks. $15 seems like a lot, but watch this. You take the boat, you push it back, it'll lock into place. If I could get it back there, there we go. Locks into place, you put a quarter on the little felt right there, or a coin, you press the lever, and <laughs> it shoots it down beneath the uh, lighthouse. It's pretty cool, this is a newer one for sure, but I'm still gonna look it up. It's just so cool. I have a few of these banks at my house. I just like them so much. So yeah, just like I thought, at $15, it's definitely too much. You guys can see 23 and 35 are the two solds. Uh, they both sold in August, so it's been a little while, but not bad. I mean, it's really cool, really heavy. If it was $5, I would grab it, but 15, I have to leave it, sadly. Uh, maybe on half off day. Uh, maybe blue will be half off next week and I could grab it. So I've been scanning DVDs every single time I come here, and was like, oh, that's another movie. And um, I never really scan the CDs anymore, but I have found two that are worth it. So I think I'm gonna scan through a bunch of CDs. We got a bunch on this side, and then if we come around here, we got a whole bunch on that side too. Well, actually, those are cassettes up there. Uh, any cool cassettes? Probably not. It's very rare that I find valuable cassettes. It does happen every once in a while, but. We're gonna scan through the CDs here. I'm just gonna fly through it. I'll actually show you how I do it. Take these, fold them over, pull up my Amazon app, pull up the barcode scanner, and on the Amazon app, down here, it says continuous scanning. I'm gonna tap that, and then we'll scan each barcode. So that one's scanned, set it aside. That is a burn CD on the back, and then we'll scan this one, scanned, and it's a lot faster when I have both hands and I'm not holding a camera, but we'll do this with a five of them real quick and see if they're worth it. So there we go. We scan five, click done, and let's see what we got here. $1.99, $1.25, so none of those were worth it. So 
I'll take them and I'll set them off to the side and we're just gonna do all of these and let's see if there's any winners. All right, so I've scanned all of these and we have our first winner finally. The Well by Jennifer Warns. You can see the price right there, $13.99, seven after fees. Merchants are coming in at seven, so I do, I do wanna double check that. Yeah, it should be okay at $13.99. If I have to come down to like 10, it should be okay. It has a pretty good rank, it'll sell pretty fast. Oh, it's empty, all right. Here goes that. <laughs> this is why I don't scan through all the CDs every single time. I've already gone through all those. I'm gonna finish here at least and hope that we find one. So I officially scanned through everything on the bottom and the only thing I found I had to look up manually. This candy DVD 1969 right there. Uh, I wanted to make sure it was legit. I opened it up, looked at it. It is legit from what I can tell, but it's disc only. There's no artwork. So I looked it up on eBay and I think I found it right here. And it appears to be selling for, uh, you know, $16-ish. I think if I price mine at 12, I could get a sale. I'm not sure. It's only a dollar, so I could still make about 10 bucks on it. Not bad. So I'm, I'm just gonna take it because I scanned through all this and I wanna have some sort of victory. Do I scan through the top? If I just look at it with my eyes, sometimes I could tell if there's anything interesting and unique in here. And I'm not seeing anything like that. I mean, this maybe, that's super different. Let's scan it real quick for you guys and see if it's worth anything. I have no idea. We're about to find out. And there it is. Look at that. That actually has... Uh, good value, but no rank, no reviews means it never sells. So that could go right back up there. And uh, this is kind of interesting. Barely juice. Scan that also. I like to get these little uh, paper cased ones. Sometimes they're like limited releases or smaller print runs and they could be worth some money. Let's see if this one, yeah, you can see right here, does have some reviews, does have a rank selling for about 20-ish. But the issue is the rank is way too high. So each category, you can see there's a music category. Each category has a different ranking system. Music, I like to stay under 300,000. And I'd really like to stay under 200,000. I'll go up a little bit if the price is really good, but that's kind of my max there. So over 500,000, not gonna be worth it. I'm not seeing anything else in here. Maybe this, what is this? That's not gonna be anything. Um, yeah, not looking great. Oh, here's another one of those Barely Juices. Let's see, Barely Juice, another round. Let's see if this one has a better rank, maybe. Has a worse rank, so that is going to be getting put right back. Let's go check the other side. All right, we actually found something here. I noticed this little C right here, Criterion Collection. This stuff can sell really, really well. I scanned it in to Amazon and take a look at the price. Brand new, $44 used, 28. Now, I was super stoked until I opened it up and it's missing a disc. Ugh, it's such a shame. Now, I do find Criterion uh, pretty regularly and sometimes the case is broken. So, it's $2. I was gonna say I'd buy it just for the case but I think I'm still gonna leave it behind. I don't know if it's really worth it. I don't find them that often, uh, so I don't know. I think I'll just leave it and I'm not seeing anything else mixed in here, I don't believe. So I don't know. We're probably gonna have to call it quits with these two. We got those Dune books, a couple CDs, a couple interesting things. No toys or electronics today. Oh, we found another Wilton pan. We got a little Darth Vader action right here. Uh, 1409, there's a big scratch in the bottom, but it should be okay. Let's look that up. The Amazon rank was really high, so I checked eBay and eh, not selling that well. Only two sales in the past couple months, so I'm going to leave it. So here is everything that we picked up from Goodwill. We got those three Dune books for $6.00. And I expect these three books to sell in the range of $35 to $40. Uh, leaves us a pretty nice profit there. I like that. I also ended up picking up this AMA Manual of Style for $6. It's brand new sealed. And this thing is selling on Amazon for about $48, which ended up being a pretty good price for that as well. 
I also snagged a yearbook. I like to grab yearbooks. This was only $2. They do take a long time to sell, but when they do sell, you're looking to get about $25 or so. This is for a school I've never heard of. Let's see if I could get to the page. Marblehead High School in Marblehead, Massachusetts, class of 2009. And there they all are, 2009, looking good. Then we got our little stack of CDs here. Well, CDs and that one loose DVD. A dollar a piece on them. Uh, about $10 here. Uh, that candy samples is going for about, what, 16? And then this one right here, the barley juice, Irish music, has a bit of a high rank, but I only paid a dollar. And it's selling for about 40 bucks. So not bad there. And last but not least, the DVDs. We picked up five of them here. Knock on Wood, Stella Dallas, Jailhouse Rock, Rodney Dangerfield, and Heartland. With the notable exception being $5 for Heartland, this is selling for over $30. That is the best find in here. But again, all these are pretty solid. So ended up being a pretty nice day at the thrift store. Well over $100 in profit, if not much more really depends on some of the higher rank stuff and how it ends up selling. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya.